uh, have you guys hold on uh, let me first stop somewhere here I need to ask you guys something Okay, quick question. Have you guys seen that show? Um, it's called it's called UK UK Border Patrol, something like that. So on that show, uh, there is this section where they show like uh, truck drivers. Um, I think they go through a certain place, like maybe like a border, and then there are some illegal uh, people that try to get underneath, you know, like that that trucks or like inside their loads. And then when they are going uh, at the uh, you know like the border stations the border patrol guys try to look for them and find them and then send them back right i've also heard that it happens in uh, i think like el paso or some other uh, places like close to the border here in america where like if you are on uh, at the border you have to be careful uh, because some people may get into your you know like your trailer underneath uh, sometimes even in your truck if you leave your truck open can you imagine if for example you were uh you just uh you are driving along thinking you are all in the truck by yourself and all of a sudden maybe somebody is in your sleeper you know like they just come out what a surprise that would would be and how you would be you know, like messed up well as i was coming here there was an illegal in my truck okay it wasn't someone but it was something so i was driving you know like coming and praying all of a sudden i see something flying and i'm like did i see something fly i look around i'm like i thought i saw something fly and then i'm like did something just fall off of the did something just fall off of the you know like the dashboard but i'm like there's nothing on the dashboard I'm looking around I don't see anything I'm like oh okay maybe it was in my mind well I continued driving luckily enough enough I was stopped at a light all of a sudden something flies and falls on my leg I look on my leg and I see this big big insect I'm, I'm like I don't know what it is I don't know if it's a cricket I don't know if it's a wasp I just hit hit it off of me and then the light turns green i step on it i'm not sure what it is i'm just gonna check because from the time i stepped on it i'm like i'm not taking my leg off of there until i get somewhere to stop i just stopped i want to find out i'm thinking it's a cricket i don't know how it got in here maybe when i had the door open it jumped in or it was my slip sitter who had the truck when whatever it is jumped in but it's under my feet. I'm just gonna find out what that is right now. All right, people, are we ready? Let's find out what that is. That is a wasp. Can you imagine if you are driving and then a wasp bites you? That is a wasp. Oh, thank God. to find a chassis i'm gonna take this one right here it's new enough i need to cross town it to to be an sf how comes that guy gets a refer lord and he just came in with a lord probably cross town probably cross town lord Okay, so today has been a 
an interesting day or let me say it's an interesting day um, from the very beginning of that day as you know this is week six of my running right so today is day five of week six I'll share with you the week uh, in this video but I woke up ready to run all dressed up prepare uh, you know like preparing my daughters for for school and all that stuff and then something came up where I had to cancel my run because I had to attend to something concerning my daughter and I had planned that after my run I was gonna go to a store uh, to buy uh, like stuff for my business like the reselling business that I do on eBay so I was thinking I'm gonna go run then go to the store but when this came up I had to cancel it so I can attend to my daughter by the time I was done with that I didn't have time to run so I go to the store and for the first time ever ever since I started going to that store this was the first time that I went to that store and I did not find a single thing I could buy to resell it has never happened every time I go I get a, a stuff to sell but this time I couldn't find a thing to sell so I come to work right the first load that they give me I look at it it turns out it's not yet even in the rail like it was showing that it's on on the train on its way to Hazlet. it wasn't yet even in Hazlet. so I told my my manager so they had to to tell me to look for an empty and then go pick up a load from Walmart so I went got an empty that's the load I just brought in here even up to now the load they gave me the first load they gave me uh, hasn't yet made it because they were like oh you'll do it after but it hasn't yet made it to the rail so that's why they've given me now a chassis to take uh, to, to take to BNSF I don't know if they will have anything uh, coming out of there we'll see Okay. I'm hungry. I'm ready for I'm ready for my lunch break. I'm gonna stop by the truck stop just around here. The new truck stop I showed you guys then have my my lunch break you do you want to go straight there because that is an army base to refill usually the tea or coffee is cheaper but I forgot to bring that so I'm gonna have to buy full price because I'm tired of getting cups let me park right where 
you know what this place i'm just gonna park right here This place is always empty. All right, I am done with my break. I'm heading to Haslet now. I'm gonna share with you guys uh, my running week, but before I do that, I wanna share with you something that I learned years ago that I wanna pass on to you. So, um, you remember when I told you that I'm gonna, uh, I forgot my cap and I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna have to buy uh, coffee at the full price because I didn't bring my cup. So instead of buying a refill, I'm buying a cup of coffee, uh, a cup of coffee, which is about, I think it's two dollars, like um, 60 cents to buy it outright, right? But, when you buy it as a refill, it's just 98 cents. So that's why I, I, I want to bring my, my, my own cup. Anywhere you go and buy tea or coffee with a refill, it's cheaper. But when I went in there, I got the cup and then I was paying and the lady's like, do you know you, know you get coffee for free? I'm like, uh, no. And then she showed me so this particular truck stop truck drivers get coffee for free there is a place where uh, they have like cups uh, if you go and get the regular cup like the one i got you have to pay but then they have some cups for truck drivers so all you have to do is to use that other cup for truck drivers and the coffee is free of charge i didn't know that the gentleman that I usually find there, sometimes uh, he will let me have the coffee for free. Sometimes he will charge me the 99 cents for the refill. But he had never mentioned, <coughs> excuse me, that there are cups where I can be able to get uh, free coffee. But this lady mentioned it. Now the thing that I wanted to, to share with you, to pass on to you that I learned years ago, that I practice in my life, I remember listening to, his name is Dr. Martin, I don't know if he's a pastor or he's just a teacher of the word or something like that, I don't know his last name, but at least I remember him being Dr. Martin, I remember him being a doctor, I think maybe like a doctor in theology or something like that, I don't know, but I remember his name, I think is Martin, I think I have that right. I remember listening to him, I don't even remember what, the, what he was talking about, but he, he said something that ever since then um, I have practiced. He said that we should learn to recognize God's favor in our lives and always be thankful for him. So, uh, and one of the examples he gave is, for example, you are walking and somebody opens that door for you. Don't take that for granted. That is God's favor. So I learned because he used something that was so simple that thing, something we take for granted, right? So I've learned that it doesn't matter how small something may look, I've learned to always remember to say thank you to God for his favor. So like every time I get maybe like free coffee or some somebody does something for me that uh, seems to be like, you know, like it may not seem like a big thing. I usually want to remember to say thank you, God, for favor. Because think about it. Um, I went in there expecting to spend about maybe two dollars and sixty cents or even more, and then all of a sudden I get it for free. The lady ended up at saying that she will let me go this time with a regular cup, but she will also let me know that we do have cups that have where we can be able to get coffee for free. So, which means anytime I come to this truck stop, I can get coffee for free. This truck stop is, I think, now the best truck stop 
I know of in the Texas area because uh, really uh, the truck stop inside is clean, their restrooms are clean, uh, you know, like where uh, you get the coffee from, like they keep all their uh, uh, places clean. Uh, it's never like you never run out of, you know, like places to park. It's almost like everything i just love it now to top it off they give us coffee for free wow anyway thank you father for favor um let me share with you guys uh what my running week was like and i think when that is done that will be the end of the video i'll catch you in the next one until then stay blessed and stay safe bye bye Today is week number six, day number one. Uh, our daughters didn't go to school today, they are off, but the little one is with her mom. And I brought uh, the oldest one, she's right there. She's playing, she doesn't know this. I just brought her uh, kind of like, uh, because we are home, uh, they left us home. And so I just told her, I need to go out, put on your shorts, let's go. So she put on her sneakers and shorts and we left. But I, don't, I didn't tell her what the plan was. So the plan for today, uh, because I don't know how far we can go what. So we came to this park. For those of you that have been following since week number one, you know this is where I started from, right? So I'm going to tell her, and I was planning to do this while she's here, but uh, when we go to the park, she went straight for the swings. But what I plan to do is I'm going to tell her to be the one. By the way, she's the one that uh, when we ran the, uh, the 5K, she's the one I was with. I know I didn't make that video. I still have the footage, but I just didn't make that video. But what we are going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell her to be in charge. So today I'm going to be running at her pace or walking at her pace. So I'm going to tell her that we are going to be running and walking around this field so she's going to decide when we run what pace we run at when we walk what pace we walk at and how many rounds so when she gets tired we'll be ready to go home if uh, so i don't know so that means i don't know how many times we'll go around i don't know uh how long we'll be here but the whole idea is she's the one who's going to be uh, in charge of uh, whether we run or whether we walk and how long it's gonna take us how many rounds we are gonna go so I'm just gonna give her a little bit of it uh, as she swings right there I'm gonna uh, warm up and then we'll start off week two day one that way I mean week six so she's right there she uses a lot of energy she's going at a very high pace so I try to keep it low so that I don't go at a, at a high pace so usually for me when I come running uh, or walking I don't bring water with me she's kind of disciplined so we've just done one round and she's like I need water so she's taking some, she's drinking some water and then we'll see how many rounds we have to go. But she's really making me work. All right, people, my coach says this is going to be the last round. So we are almost done with the last round. Um, so which means we'll have gone three rounds, which puts us, I think, at about one and a half miles. How do you feel? Tired and good. She feels tired and good. She's done a good job. So we have a little bit of, uh, just like maybe a quarter or so of a mile left. And then we are done for the day. All right, we are done. We ended up doing, uh, what is it? One and a half miles. Uh, we did it in less than 25 minutes. And so I'm so proud of my coach. She's right there enjoying herself, enjoying her rest. I'll catch you guys tomorrow because she will be at school. I'll see you tomorrow. 
good morning it's week six day number two so my plan for the rest of the week as you know yesterday i had my daughter with me but for the rest of the week my plan is to do three miles every single day uh, until i'm done with the week so today i'm going on my run walk it's gonna be three miles so if like the weather permits and my body permits every uh, every day i'll be doing three miles for the rest of the week so let's get it started i'm back just finished with my run walk i have ended up doing more than three and a half miles in less than an hour which is pretty good i feel good i could go up to four um up to four miles because right now it says 3.83 so which means we are doing some progress now i know i have run um and walked and i've been i haven't really been keeping my heart rate low but again it's to do with training the heart so that's what i kind of plan on doing for the rest of the week just run walk uh three miles or, or a little bit more uh, so that we see how this week will go we are six weeks into it doing good for those of you who started with me i'm sure you're doing progress those who are still on the sideline come join in let's do this all right guys i'll catch you in the next one bye bye good morning this is day number number three of week six just starting out my run the idea today is I'm gonna run for one mile non-stop and then I walk I walk I run another mile non-stop and then I walk and then I run the last well I don't know if it will be a mile each but that's the idea like walk after running a mile uh, but I'm doing my three miles and then that will be it for day number number three of week six i'll catch you up when i'm done all right i've done it i've done my three miles which is my 5k actually it's 3.3 and i'm still walking so as i said in the beginning what i've been doing is i run for a mile and then i just walk for a short while run for another mile so those were three miles of running intervals of a mile each uh, when it comes to my heart rate according to the app i've spent most of my time in the red zone even though i don't like it i've been feeling really good so it's like i've been so much about how i feel than about what the app says so Hopefully in the future, I will see what kind of effect that has on me. Uh, maybe there's a way, uh, as I continue to do this, it will help uh, my heart rate uh, get down, you know, like by get, when my body gets used to it, maybe my heart rate in the app will show that it's down. I've been running slow, uh, you know, like if I'm just going by how I feel, I've been running slow as, as you can tell by me talking to you that I'm not you know, like running out of breath so it's been a good run I'll catch you up in the next one until then stay blessed good morning it's week six day number four just starting out my my uh, run today just like I said this week I'm going to try and hit three miles every day so yesterday i did like i was running for one mile then walk run another mile then walk so today what i'm gonna do i'm gonna run one and a half miles walk a little bit and then run the rest of of the way which will be another one and a half miles a total of three miles and we'll be done for the day so let's start i'm done with day four of week number six uh three like the 5k 3.15 actually yeah 3.15 miles 
I walked for 0.1 miles so I've run my three miles and the time that I've made is 46 minutes 37 seconds I'll catch you up tomorrow for day number five a husband father Christian and truck driver telling you my story and the world through my eyes so keep the faith keep the faith. let's keep it fresh, keep it fresh. and this is driver success yeah uh, let's go